Hello YouTube. Today my table we have Warren SB2040 fly by Melo. This is a CAN model for a Warren tool head for self burner. And my goal will be to install it with SKR 3 Easy. I got this model without you talk so we can directly use the board as a bridge, can bridge, and that's what we have in the box. You have a cable that goes to your tool head, only for wires, power and can bus. Then you have model itself. In the box you have connectors. They actually installed in the board, I will show it a bit later. Cable to configure the board and flash the board and little PCB that goes over the tool head. You connect fans and LEDs over here. Very nice. Just actually very good quality PCB. And let's take a look at the actual SB2040. Very good quality product. So, without further ado, let's try to configure it. Let me explain what do we have here. I have Raspberry Pi 4B with USB-C power. Then we have Raspberry Pi connected to a SKR3EZ via USB button unpushed. This is a CAN button. If you push it, the board will behave like a CAN node. Then we have CAN L and CAN H data provided with a connector that was included in the board. And we feed 24 volts out of incoming power to the board from Minwell 24 volt power supply. I have here connected a thermistor just to see if the board working. I decide to go this way instead of trusting what's on the, uh, on the board. And that was a good call because I was able to verify that those nodes are working. In my setup, I just directly flashed clipper into this port and I directly flashed clipper inside of the motherboard. We're turning on the power supply. And so you can see simultaneously, both of our boards are powered now. Let's get to the computer and I will show you what settings you have to use for a clipper and what exact settings you have to do to the Raspberry Pi in order to make it work. In this configuration, I will use Mencel OS and I will leave link into the description and uh, all the documentation is there. Let's start with connecting through the terminal to our Raspberry Pi via SSH and we are going to navigate over Clipper folder and set up our configuration for firmware build. In our case, board will be used in CAN bridge mode, so what we are doing next is making a clean environment for our firmware build and we're building a firmware. Also, don't forget before building your firmware, you need to update your Clipper via web interface of the main cell. I'm using a little trick here where I'm copying our build firmware over Clipper config files. So that way I will be able to access them via web interface of the main cell. The next we have to compile a firmware for our SB2040 and we are going to use CAN bus and all settings uh, as it is inside of the Clipper working perfectly fine. We run make clean again to clean our environment and building a firmware. So and again I'm repeating the step of copying firmware over Clipper configs and um, next step will be plug in our devices and just upload our firmware on them. And we will start with big 3 tech SKR Easy first. I'm using regular SD card, just downloading our firmware from the web interface directly to the SD card. And don't forget, you have to name your firmware file as firmware.bin in order to work. Otherwise, you'll have issues, board is not flashing. So I'm just uh, taking a SD card, putting it into the board and powering it on for, uh, I don't know, 10 seconds. And here you go, you have flashed board. Next we have to flash our SB2040, I'm holding a boot button and plug it into the computer, it's also recognized as regular USB drive and we're using web interface to save our firmware on it. 
From this point, my Big 3 Touch motherboard work as simple USB to CAN bus adapter. And with help of a less USB, I am able to verify that board is connected to a Raspberry Pi. And only one step left to set up our CAN interface in order to communicate with our devices via CAN bus. I would highly recommend to restart Raspberry Pi after this step and now we can connect again and verify that our CAN interface is working fine. So we can get our CAN nodes IDs and use them in our config. In this step I would recommend to disconnect SB24 and get ID for MCU and then plug it in and you will see ID for the SB24. I will share displayed clipper config in my github repository and link will be in the description. And now to verify that our setup is working I will hold thermistor that I connected to SB24 with my hand and you can see temperature is rising. Thank you for watching this video, I really think that information might help because there is not that many information around or videos around how to do a basic setup with, with the boards. I hope this board soon will support CAN boot so we could update those devices via CAN uh, bus, but for now you can flash them manually and use them right away without any issues and you don't need the UTOC model in order to communicate Raspberry Pi with the board. So it's pretty much a direct use of the CAN chip inside of the our boards. Like, subscribe. If you don't like it, dislike it. Just give me any feedback. If you feel like I missed something, if you feel like I misrepresent some information, I would really appreciate it and I would enjoy any kind of feedback. See you guys later. Thank you.